Hi! Welcome back to my channel everyone. So today, as you can read by the title, I'm going to be talking about veganism in eating disorder recovery. It has been a very requested topic for me to talk about. I get quite a lot of questions about it. So for those of you who don't know, I've been a vegan now for three years. I went vegan in April 2016 and I've also been recovered from anorexia for about six years. Uh, I was declared healthy 2012 but I would say I was like fully free healthy 2013-2014. So that's just a little bit of background information. So all eating disorders are different. It can be anorexia, bulimia, binge eating, uh, orthorexia. So what helps you to recover and get better is different kind of based on you know what your main struggles and problems are but of course learning to find balance with food, with eating, not having any fear foods or trigger foods, learning to eat regular balanced meals, that is part of recovery from all eating disorders, uh, whether it's binge eating or restrictive or super healthy clean eating orthorexia. So I get asked the question a lot whether I went vegan when I was in recovery and the question <laughs> answer to that is no, I didn't. Um, I don't think it would have been healthy for me if I did go vegan when I was sick or in recovery. I don't think I would have been allowed to either. It was barely that my mom was happy that I went vegan in 2016 just because veganism can be restrictive uh, depending on mindset, how you choose to eat, what you eat, but I'm going to get into that later. Uh, I'm just going to start with the background now. Um, so I grew up eating meat, dairy, uh, when I was with my dad, so I did eat, you know, bacon, steak, sausages, all of that, and when I was with my mom, I ate a lot of vegetarian meals, as she was pescatarian back then, uh, now she's more lacto-ovo, uh, the same for my sister. I, I had a balanced diet, I ate a lot of vegetarian meals, but also meat, I loved chicken as a child. Then when I got sick with anorexia, I started to cut out a lot of food groups and that included full fat dairy products, meat, um, so I ate, I ate like vegetarian products and chicken, but I chose like the low calorie options, um, so yeah. And then when I began treatment, I had to eat all types of uh, food and animal products. However, they were huge fear foods of mine. I didn't want to eat them. If I could replace them with something else, I would have. The only kind of animal food, animal products I was okay eating with was like chicken and white fish and egg whites. Like it even went so far when I was eating treatment that I said I was allergic to eggs. Um, so they had to do testing and all of that. They didn't believe me, but uh, they had to do it. And of course I wasn't allergic to eggs, I was just scared of eating egg yolks. Uh, and I didn't want to eat any full fat dairy products. Then when I was in recovery, of course I had to face those fears and realise it was okay to eat animal products and dairy products and have them in a balanced diet. So I don't think I would have been allowed to be vegan when I was in treatment. Uh, first off, it wouldn't have been healthy, I would have done it. Uh, out of a restrictive perspective. I would have done it because I was scared of the foods, not because of ethics, because I didn't believe it was okay to eat animal products like I do now. So I went to Mandometer treatment and I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to be vegan there. Uh, maybe vegetarian, but then like lacto-ovo. And then you would have had to be vegetarian before you became sick. They might have changed that now, but I know that I don't think anyone was allowed to be vegan there. But then when I was allowed more freedom, when I was out going to school and a day patient and allowed to make more of my own food choices, I decided to not eat red meat. Um, I didn't, I wasn't a huge fan of it. I ate it when I was younger, but it was never something I liked. Um, now, it kind of disgusts me, like I can't. Uh, but anyway, so I haven't eaten red meat since about 2012, so seven years now. 
Um, but I did eat a lot of chicken, fish, salmon, eggs, dairy products like cork and cottage cheese, a lot of milk, and I had no intentions of going vegan, like none at all. I had my old blog, lifewithoutanorexia.com, a lot of helpful recovery posts there, but I remember getting rather critiqued, like on a regular basis, kind of. I'd get comments about, why don't you go vegan? Why aren't you eating vegan? Why are you eating animal products? And it annoyed me. Like, I got kind of like, uh, it felt kind of strange for me, because I was like, all of you who read my blog, you know I have struggled with anorexia, you know I've had fear foods, you know I've cut out foods from my diet, and here you're telling me to cut out foods that I eat. Like, it wasn't helpful, and that just kind of made me anti-vegan. I was like, no, you know, vegans stay away from me, let me eat my chicken and eggs and quark in peace, and I don't want to cut foods, cut foods out of my diet. But then, around 2015, 2016, I began um, uh, kind of feeling more or I began to feel more wrong to eat animal products and not out of a fear food perspective but a kind of I began looking at documentaries doing more research I followed people online who were vegan and it just began to feel a little more wrong to eat chicken and eggs and fish and then I just sort of did more research um, I began to feel I wanted to go vegan, but because of my past with an eating disorder, I was scared to go vegan because I didn't want it to relapse or have it, or, you know, cut foods out of my diet. <sighs> yeah. Anyway. So, 2016, I decided to go vegan. I was living on my own. I was studying at university. I'd had a lot of stomach issues and I wanted to see what would happen if I cut out dairy products. And at the same time I thought, why not just do a 30 day vegan challenge, it was summer, there was a lot of fruit, I'd followed a lot of vegans on Instagram, and yeah. And uh, since then I have been vegan, you can watch my vegan transition journey in another video, I will link it down below. So when I told my mom I was going vegan, she was not super happy, because as I mentioned, veganism can be restrictive and I, when I first went vegan, I lost a lot of weight at the same time. Uh, this was due to stomach problems, I was dealing with depression, anxiety, just a lot of things going on in my mind and life, so I lost a lot of weight and that of course scared my mom, seeing that, you know, suddenly she's cut out a lot of foods from her diet and now she's losing a bunch of weight. This isn't a good sign. But I was able to regain that weight and show her that I can eat vegan, I can maintain my weight, I can be healthy, and I'm not just eating fruit and vegetables. So now she's fine with it, she's even inspired, eating more vegan meals, my whole family is, which is amazing. Do I recommend going vegan in recovery from an eating disorder? I typically don't. And, of course, I would love for everyone to be vegan, but I kind of, but I know that that's not going to happen, and when you have suffered from an eating disorder, <clears throat> so something I've noticed is that a lot of vegans who, you know, they're so passionate about it, they want everyone to go vegan, you know, they can't understand how anyone could eat animal products when they know the truth. And I can feel like that sometimes. Sometimes I feel like, can't everyone just watch these documentaries and just like, cut out animal products, you don't need them. But at the same time, because I've had a past with an eating disorder, I know how it is to be scared of food, to be controlled by food, to not eat food you want to because of fear. And then to be in recovery and just trying to find your balance, just trying to eat food without caring, without thinking about it, without associating guilt or anxiety with it. And then to have someone come and tell you, 
don't eat meat, don't eat animal, dairy, don't eat fish, don't eat chocolate, don't eat this, don't eat this, don't eat this. And suddenly you think, well, what can I eat? What, <laughs> you know, so personally, I don't think <coughs> telling someone with a past with an eating disorder to, you know, cut out all these food groups, go vegan. It has to be something they want to do. Instead, you can aspire to eat more vegetarian. But anyway, okay, so, so when you're in recovery from an eating disorder, the most important thing is to find balance with food, to face your fear foods, face trigger foods, begin to make peace with food so that you can eat what you want to eat, you can eat the right portions for you, you can enjoy food, not associate guilt with it or anxiety, but also the risk is that when you go vegan in recovery that you you need to be honest about yourself, honest to yourself about why you are cutting out the foods. Is it because you don't believe or because you don't ethically think it's right to eat animal products or is it because you are scared of them? And many go vegan in eating disorder recovery based on fear. They, by saying you are vegan, you have a reason to suddenly not eat certain foods. Or if someone offers you cake or cookies which they have baked and they have butter in it, then you have a reason to say no or you go out to dinner and there's nothing to order so you just eat the salad and it can. Unless you live in a city where there's a lot of vegan options or your friends and family are very accepting of your vegan lifestyle and choices, it can become restrictive. You can feel that there's nothing you can eat when you're around with others. And if you're eating vegan due to fear of foods, that can be a positive thing because suddenly you don't need to eat because there's nothing vegan. Many use veganism as an excuse to just eat a bunch of fruit and vegetables. So you need to be honest to yourself about why you want to go vegan. Is it because you want to skip these foods or because you truly believe that it's not okay to eat them? And you know, you can be vegan and eat vegan chocolate and crisps and cake. And some cities have amazing vegan food and friends and family are accepting of your vegan lifestyle. And then it's not restrictive in any way. You eat just like anyone else would and the same foods, just vegan. My recommendation would be to first find freedom with food. Find balance with food, be able to eat, eat food without anxiety, without any, you know, controlling or fears. And if you truly want to be vegan, then, you know, do all these other things which can be helpful, as I mentioned earlier. And then when you feel fully free and you like you know that you want to be vegan for the animals then you know cut out all the animal if all the animal products that replace them substitute them that is super important that was something i didn't do when i first went vegan i just cut out food without really replacing it without thinking that i needed bigger portions more food and it could be helpful also to do it step by step. If you're someone who hasn't been vegetarian beforehand, if you're someone who eats a lot of dairy and meat now, then maybe slowly swap out those foods and go vegetarian, lacto-ovo, pescatarian, then vegan, you know. You don't have to do it overnight, unless that's something you know you can handle. Anyway, hopefully that has answered the questions. I'm sharing my thoughts. Not everyone will think this way. I think that everyone can eat as plant-based and vegetarian as possible and do other things to help the animals, to help the planet. If going vegan is impossible for you for whatever reasons or situations, then you know, that's life. Um, also remember that you can go vegan later in life. Maybe you have been vegan before you got sick. But then, this is something I also want to mention, is that <coughs> when you are sick, or if you need to gain weight, example in anorexia recovery, you may also have messed up your digestive system if you have been 
like purging or uh, eating very restrictively and the nutrition in plant-based food isn't as easily absorbed um, certain nutrients anyway others are easier absorbed from plant-based foods so it may be easier than to eat animal products which can give you the nutrition which is more easy easily absorbed not to mention that often the portion sizes are a lot bigger when you eat vegan which may be hard to eat that much if you struggle with restrictive eating or you just can't eat big portions or you get triggered by big portions some people do that some people get triggered by that so then maybe eating smaller more nutrient dense foods or meals may be helpful don't get me wrong plant-based food vegetables fruit whole grains uh, root vegetables super nutritious super healthy we should all eat them but things like eating a lot of beans or you know seitan tofu is rather easily absorbed a lot of calcium protein so unless you have like a soya allergy or have a reason to limit soya we should all be eating so tofu <laughs> according to me that is my two cents on this topic it's fine if you don't agree but I would say wait to go fully vegan until you are mentally and physically recovered eat vegetarian if you want to if you can when you do eat vegan make sure it's a healthy balanced diet hopefully you enjoyed this video let me know your thoughts on this do you think you can be vegan in recovery have you been vegan in recovery um yeah i'm pretty sure i've forgotten 101 things i wanted to say I might have to write a little text about this or I have a blog post about veganism in recovery which I will link to uh, it has more detailed thoughts and explanations thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment if you have something to say <laughs> hopefully not too mean I'll see you all next week with a new video